New shooter coverage of IBC 2023 is sponsored by Atlas Lensco, Atomos, Sennheiser, and b and I'm Eric Nasa with NewsShooter.com and I'm at IBC 2023 in the beautiful city of Amsterdam and I'm with Mark here at the Zine booth. How's it going? Not too bad, Eric. How you doing, mate? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So I was walking by the booth and I noticed these Meister lenses, these full frame beautiful lenses. You guys have a couple of new focal lengths today for the show. Yes, that's right. Uh, so we've got the 24 and 14 millimeter. Myself, I'm actually a cinematographer, a freelancer that lives in Dubai. I'm from Australia originally. Mm -hmm. um, I was involved in the R&D of these lenses, actually the whole series for the past eight, nine months. Um, and what I can say is that the biggest thing to take away from these lenses mm -hmm. is the re-education of the brand of Samyang Zine and the consistency that these have to be used on a multi-million dollar series or narrative. Uh, myself, I shoot a lot of narrative and one thing that has always been with Zine and Samyang is that they're a consumer and prosumer level lens. Yeah, and, and affordable. The make, exactly, affordable. These might be a little bit more expensive, but I can say and put my career behind this that, uh, as I said, some of the features, the, the sharpness has been as unforgiving as some of the, the more known T1.3 products that we've uh, seen in the, in the past and that everyone uses. Um, but also the, the roll off and the, the highlights, like as I said, lights like a very, very soft, very, very close to that. Um, and you're getting these at a fraction of the cost. The, the rest of the lens, the rest of the features have their own unique visual language, their own unique characteristics, which gives them their own feel, their own personality. So again, you're getting some professional characteristics at a fraction of the cost. They are a budget solution still, a little bit more expensive, but, but still you're hitting some of those professional features like other brands. So let's talk about some of those, the pricing, because that is a, that, like you said, that is a, as a big point. Uh, what is the uh, the range in pricing from from the series that's available now? Um, so from what I understand, we're ranging in that six to seven thousand dollar mark, um, varying on, on the focal lengths, um, which I, again through the R and D that I've done and some of the narrative that we've shot with this. They are. That's a very justifiable price. They, you know, things could even be more expensive, and it's still justifiable. But I think it's quite a neat number, a quite quite a neat figure for for the consumer prosumer base. And um, I'm telling you, the look of these, I can back my name on it. Uh, they look fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Now, when it comes to a lot of the, I don't want to say lesser, but they're more of the affordable lenses. They tend to, you know, like say they have character. We're not going for character here. We're going for sharpness. We're going for more of a, a very, very higher quality optics here, right? Well, uh, as I said, they're unforgivingly sharp. And um, one thing that people can take away from them, and I can say it, is yes, they're called Meister T1.3. Everyone's going to confuse Master T1.3. And, and immediately you might think, OK, uh, a Korean Asian knockoff of you know a higher end brand level. But yeah. as I said, they have a unique look to themselves. And yes, the sharpness is hitting the features of some of those other brands that we know that, that are costing a lot of money. Um, it's not just that. And I think the, the biggest thing that comes away from that is the consistency. Now, when shooting narrative, you want to maintain a visual language across all your focal lengths from lens breathing, uh, distortion, color, uh, the way spot and ghost flares play into lens. And I tested these not just in the studio under all conditions, but also in the field, throughout Dubai, throughout Europe different temperatures, different uh, lighting situations. Um, it's, they've been really fantastic. And I've been playing these out to a few other DPs in the Middle East region. And also, as I said, they've always been a budget solution, Sam Yang and Zine, but now a lot yeah. of producers and directors that have seen them, they're wanting to grab them for the look, not because of the budget solution. So yeah, it's been really, really a retainable and really great response from um, the public in this R&D period. Uh, talk, talk to me a little about the, the coatings. Do you have different types of coatings on these that no, we had in these, the other lenses? No, these are just a, a normal, a typical coating. I think these are double coated, but um, a nice blue, you get a nice blue from them, um, from your flares. Uh, it's not like a real strong blue, like you might see on some cooks or, or something mm -hmm. like that, but a nice soft blue. And um, one thing that has been interesting, I actually tested these on a few different sensors, and a lot of people might judge the lens based on what they see in the lens, but you have to also remember the photo sites of your camera 
the way light travels physically through those photosites changes characteristics of the look. And a lot of people might use these on, you know, REDs or ARIES or Sonys. And I tested them through all, doing all the same tests, all the same distance. And I saw a lot of different characteristics between the camera sensors. So don't judge them uh, by just the camera you're working on, you know. Judge them on the actual features, which is what we've done with our tests. Mm -hmm. um, you can look at all the tests with Caucasian skin tones, star skin tones, Alexa sensors, red sensors. I did it all <laughs> <laughs> to make sure. Um, and that's yeah. R&D for you. Yeah, that's it. And uh, again, that word consistency was there throughout the whole test. And um, yeah, like I said, I can put my name behind them. They're, they're very, very great product. And it's great to see uh, the product uh, Samyang Zine grow with me as a filmmaker. You know, I remember eight, nine years ago, you know, buying entry level lenses and Samyang were there. Yeah, and now I had my set of broken ons. That's it. <laughs> I mean, and, and now, you know, now more pushed through with my career I'm, and doing features and, and whatnot. And these are here, and I've just used these recently on a Disney Plus film, which I cannot mention much more about that. But um, yes, yeah, certain sequences were shot with the Zine Meisters. So okay. um, yeah. You like the Boca? I do, and actually that's something that uh, I don't usually shoot T1.3. Um, I know in the Middle East, Bollywood, uh, Middle East and DPs play a, a wide open quite a lot. I usually shoot T4, 5.6. I was always taught, you know, when in doubt, 5.6. That's, I always find lenses perform best in that area. For sure. Um, but we did do the tests and they're not falling apart. You know, uh, at 1.4, 1.3, that they're still quite there. You know, you, you can feel it fringe a bit, but no, they're still solid. So, yeah. I it's mean- It's hard uh, to be completely forgiving wide open yeah. on any lens. And, You're going to have it. <laughs> Focus <laughs> pullers aren't too fond of that. <laughs> That's right. But, uh, and these are full yeah. frame. These are full frame. They come, cover the full image circle with full frame sensors. Mm -hmm. So um, they've been great. They've been absolutely terrific. And titanium titanium casing, they're they're fantastic, mate. So yeah, uh, I can put my name behind these. Mm. They're, they're very well and, performing. And, uh, is the breathing consistent? Is there low breathing I through mean, the entire line? Every lens has its own characteristic of breathing. And yes, that was one thing I wanted to, to make sure. We, we did the whole infinity, you know, four gram minimum to infinity um, focus. And we checked the breathing uniform across all focal lengths, which some people might not like breathing. But the thing is, at least the uniform across the focal lengths, which gives a visual language to themselves once again. Um, so if you're shooting a narrative, you're holding the piece together visually, which, uh, which nice. yeah, that made them a great, a great find. You know, you know it comes in uh, different mounts, and, it, and are the mounts user swappable? Uh, no, so you've just only got a fixed PL, EF, or E mount. You know, okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, Meister. Meister. By Zine. By Zine. That's right. All South right. Korea. Check them out. Um, as I said, anyone wants to talk to me one on one, I get on a Zoom call with you, and I can I can verify the the results are real. And um, yeah, you put your name on. I put my name your on your entire it. career. My entire career. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Cheers. Eric. Yeah. Take care.